Hi, welcome back for Unit 9, uh, Investigation into Break-Even Point Analysis. As you would have been reading through the material, you would have come across those topics that I mentioned, operating leverage and margin of safety. I just wanted to spend a minute to talk to you about this operating leverage. So to begin with, let's look at how we find that calculation, how we can actually find the degree of operating leverage for a particular company. Well, we calculate the contribution margin to begin with, so that becomes our contribution margin divided by our net operating income. But for managers, our manager or accountant, we need to put this into perspective. Well, let's say, for example, our organization, our manufacturing, has operating leverage of five. Well, if they were to increase their sales now by 10%, the resultant increase in their net operating income would be 50%. So this small degree in the operating leverage of five actually has quite a big impact in their operating income. And of course, this will later translate into their income statements at the end of the quarter. So as you read through the material, we also would have noticed about our margin of safety. And also with our margin of safety, the importance of our break-even point, our break-even analysis. So please keep in mind the relationship of all these three points, the margin of safety, the break-even point, and this operating leverage. If you haven't done so already, please try the end of content uh, questions, the quiz assessments there, and I'll see you for unit 10, which is variable costing.